There are thousands of children in almost 300 orphanages across the Kathmandu Valley. Activists say many are not orphans, and some end up as victims of child trafficking. Lujung Sherpa, a mother of three, says she was tricked into sending her children to an orphanage. I was told that foreigners would give my children an education. I believed this, so I sent them to the home. That was eight years ago. Happy Home has over 80 children, including Lujung's. Over the years, she has never been allowed to visit them. When she showed up with undercover police two weeks ago, she was told her children were not around. On the outskirts of Kathmandu, we met two children rescued from Happy Home last year. Their mother, Sabita, had filed a complaint against the owner of the orphanage, but no action was taken. The owner's wife used to have these thick sticks. If we'd hide, she'd ask other children to find us, then we'd be beaten up. We were told not to speak to the foreign volunteers about our parents. The authorities admit there is a problem in some children's home. The government has a minimum standard for children's homes, but there are some children's homes that have opened with the sole aim of using children to raise funds from foreigners. After multiple complaints from Lujung and other parents, the police finally raid Happy Home. Lujung waits with child rights activists in a restaurant nearby. After six hours of investigation, undercover police arrest the owner and charge him with fraud and trafficking. Lujung finally gets some good news. Two out of the three kids have been found and they're supposed to be in a near, nearby hostel. We're going to see if they're still around there. The lead takes us to a house of relatives of the happy home owner. The police find two of Lujung's children here. They've been locked in here for two weeks. A third child was found in another orphanage nearby. We returned to the orphanage to see if anyone from the management would speak to us, but found no one available to comment. For now, the orphanage continues to operate. The owner is still in custody, but activists are trying to relocate the remaining children. Lujung Sherpa is slowly getting to know her son and two daughters again, after years of separation. But it's a different story for what many believe are hundreds of other children in orphanages, hoping their parents will find them and bring them home. Subina Shreshta Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.